The Justice Department today filed the first criminal charges related to the upcoming midterm elections. A Russian woman is accused of interfering by using social media to stir up discord. Here's Jeff Pegues. Court documents say 44-year-old Elena Alexeyevna Kusyanova was leading the operation whose goal, according to Russian operatives, was to sow discord in the U.S. political system. Funded by the wealthy Russian oligarch Evgeny Prigozhin, an ally of Vladimir Putin, the target was next month's midterm elections with early voting in many states already underway. The former head of the Justice Department's National Security Division, John Carlin, said Russia is spending millions to undermine American democracy. We're under attack now and that our elections are at risk. There's no way this is taking place without the knowledge of Putin himself. Through the use of fake American online personas, they focused on divisive topics like immigration, gun control, race relations, and the NFL national anthem debate. One pro-Trump Facebook account under the fake persona of Bertha Malone posted this image of President Obama, saying he created $3 billion worth of new regulations, while President Trump wiped away $22 billion worth of regulations. That same account posted this anti-illegal immigration message, arguing that deporting illegal immigrants saves Americans money. Deport them all, it said. This operation was very similar to the Russians' interference in the 2016 presidential election, something that President Trump has been reluctant to acknowledge. His national security advisor, John Bolton, will travel to Moscow tomorrow, and Russian interference in the midterm elections is likely to come up. Jeff. Jeff Pegues, thank you.